Hello, in this video, we're going to do a somewhat challenging problem. We're going to solve for the price that maximizes total revenue from this following table. So here's our demand schedule. Price $10, coin demanded $100. Price is $8, coin demanded is $150. So consider the following information for a firm. Assuming that this relationship between price and quantity demanded is linear, what price maximizes total revenue? First thing we're going to do is solve for the demand equation, where the quantity demanded is a function of price. And we're going to specify a linear format for that, so Q equals A minus BP. B is going to be the slope, which is just a change in quantity demanded divided by the change in price. So we can calculate the slope from the information in the table. We can take the change in quantity, 100 minus 150, and then we can divide that by the change in price, 10 minus 8. So doing that, in the math here, we get a slope of minus 25. We'll plug that slope of minus 25 into our demand equation. The next thing we need to find is A. So we're going to solve for A. And we're going to do that by plugging either $10 and quantity demanded of 100 into this demand equation, or plugging in a price of $8 and a quantity demanded of 150. So I plug in the $10 for price and 100 units for quantity demanded. And then we're going to just solve this for A. Doing a little math here, the A term will equal 350. So our market demand equation then is Q equals 350 minus 25P. The next step is to get total revenue. Uh, once again, our goal here is to find the price that maximizes total revenue. And total revenue is price times quantity. So our quantity is 350 minus 25P. And if we multiply that by price, we got an expression for total revenue. Multiplying through by P here. And now to find the price that maximizes total revenue, we can take the derivative of the total revenue function with respect to price set that derivative equal to zero, and solve for price. So the derivative of 350p is just 350. The derivative of minus 25p squared is just minus 50p. This is setting that derivative result equal to zero. And now we're going to solve for p. The price that maximizes total revenue is $7. An alternative method is to get the, uh, the, the market demand and solve that for P. So I'm going to solve that for P to get the inverse market demand. So moving some things around, dividing through by 25. So dividing everything through by 25, we get the inverse market demand equaling the following. Total revenue is maximized at the midpoint of the demand curve. So one of the properties of linear demand curves is total revenue is maximized at the midpoint. So we need to find the midpoint of this uh, demand curve. And this occurs when price is equal to one half the vertical intercept. So the vertical intercept on the demand curve here would be $14. Half of that would be $7. So the once again here, the price that maximizes total revenue is $7. Okay, that's it.